Hi, I'm Stella Moon, and in this video, we'll be working on lesson three of the Winter Art Kit, the 3D Origami Ornament. And for this project, you'll need what's included in this baggie right here, as well as your Elmer's glue pen. Let's get started. 3D Origami is made of what I call units, and each unit looks like this, like a folded triangle. There are two pockets on the bottom and two points on the top, and the points go into the pockets. And the units fit in together like that. And this can take some patience. As you can see, there are a lot of units here, 78 to be exact. And that might sound like a lot at first, but once you get the hang of folding, it'll go by a lot faster. So I'm gonna show you how to fold a couple of these units, and then I'm gonna have you pause the video and fold the rest of them on your own. And then I'll come back to show you how to put them together to build our final shape. So we're going to take a rectangle and fold it in half long ways like this. And you want to make sure your edges and corners are all touching. And this is just so that we can be as exact as possible so that later on our units will fit together nicely. It might be helpful to use a table so that you can really crease down with your fingernails. So once you have that folded in half, we're gonna fold in half this way. Once again, edges and corners touching. And then we're gonna unfold. And now you'll have a middle line right here, the crease we just made. Now we're gonna take this bottom edge and we're gonna fold it upward so that it touches this middle crease that we just made. So watch carefully, like this. And we're gonna do the same thing for this side. This bottom edge touches that middle line. So fold upward like that. And you wanna make sure you press down on all your folds with your fingernails. And then we're gonna flip this whole thing over. And now you see there's a line right here. We're gonna take this top right corner and we're gonna fold it down so that it touches this line. And there are two layers of paper here, so make sure you fold both of them. So we're gonna fold down like that. And now you can see the edges right here are touching. And you wanna do the same thing for this corner. We're gonna fold it down like this. And now we're gonna fold this whole side down along this line. So fold this whole thing down like that. You're gonna do the same thing for this side Fold the whole side down like that. All right, so now we have a big triangle like this and we're gonna fold it in half this way. And the paper might get really thick right here so you wanna make sure you're pushing down pretty hard. And there we go, there is one completed unit. And you can see there's two pockets on the bottom and two points on the top. So I'll show you how to make another one. Take your rectangle, fold it in half long ways with your corners and edges touching. Then we're gonna fold it in half this way and then we unfold now we have a middle crease right here. We're gonna make sure this bottom edge touches that crease by folding upward. And do the same thing for this side. Fold up. And then flip the whole thing over. So now we have a line right here. We're gonna fold this top corner down so it touches that line. And we're 
going to do the same thing for this side. Fold the corner down so it touches the line. Okay, and now we're going to fold this whole side down along this line. And same thing for this side. And then we're going to fold the whole thing in half like this. And there is our second completed unit. So now I'm going to have you pause the video and fold 76 more. And then once you're done with that, unpause and I'll show you how we're going to put them together to make our ornament. So out of your 78 units, count out 26 of them and put them in a separate pile. So this pile right here has 26 units. Grab two units, outside edge on top, and hold them next to each other like this. And you can see here there are four points on top. One, two, three, four. You're going to use those two middle points, the second and third one, and we're going to put them in the pockets of a third unit. So grab a third unit, look at the pockets down there, hold it outside edge on top, and we're gonna put these two middle points into the pockets. So, like that. So if I show you the bottom part, it's gonna look like this. So each of these units has one point in each pocket of the third one. So I'll show you again. You're gonna take two units, outside edge on top, Hold them next to each other, like that. Grab a third unit, outside edge on top, and you're gonna put these two middle points right here into the pockets of your third unit. So one point in each pocket, like that. So there are three units in this piece right here. You're gonna keep taking units from your pile of 26 and putting them together. So take your fourth unit, and there's two pockets. You're gonna put this point right here into the left pocket of your fourth unit. So like that. And you might see a pattern starting. Take your fifth unit, take the point and put it into I'm going to show you the bottom right here, this empty pocket right here. And make sure outside edge is on top. So you can see that the points just keep going into the pockets like this. So take your next unit, put this point into the pocket. Take another unit, put it into the pocket of the previous one. Grab another unit, put this point into the pocket of the new unit. And so you see this pattern starting. Take another unit, put it into the pocket of the previous one, and grab another and put the previous point into that pocket. And you're going to keep going until you've used up everything in your pile of 26. So just keep putting the points into the pockets. Make sure you're kind of holding on to this whole thing very carefully. Um, the pieces might want to slide out a lot, but if that happens, if that keeps happening, use your glue and put some glue on each point so that when it goes into the pockets, there's glue on them. But um, if you don't need to do that, the pieces should just stay on their own. But make sure you're kind of holding on to the whole thing. Grab your other unit, put it into the pocket. 
grab another one. Okay. Then put it into the pocket. New unit. Make sure your outside edge is always on the top. Grab a new unit, put the point in the pocket. Another one. And make sure you don't push down too far. As you can see, the paper can rip like if you look right here, my paper has already started to rip because I pushed down too far. So make sure you, you just push until the paper sort of stops on its own. Don't force it down too far. Then grab another unit. It might be challenging to hold on to all of these. So make sure you're working very slowly. And if necessary, like I said, always you always have glue that you can put on the points so that they really just stay in place and you don't have to hold them. And last piece. Boom. Okay. So now we have our 26 pieces. You can see that there are two layers of them. There's one right here and one right here. There's 13 in each layer. So there's 26 total. So now, if you sort of let go, it's gonna wanna circle like this on its own, which is great. That's exactly what we want. So if we look here, kind of let go of it so that it circles. There's a point right here and a pocket right here we're gonna put that point into the pocket so that it completes the pattern like that. There we go. And now we have a ring. So this is the bottom of our ornament. So now holding, holding your piece like this. Now we're gonna add units from our other pile. And if you look here, we have two units right here. We want to connect them together. So we're gonna take the point, one point from this unit and one point from this unit and put them into the pockets of our next unit. So this point right here and this point right here go into the pockets like this. Like that. And grab another unit. You're gonna take this point and this point and put them in to our other unit like that. And then grab another one and keep going. And the next two go in here. And you'll see a pattern starting to form. There's kind of like a zigzaggy pattern. Kind of like layering bricks. I'm gonna take these two points like that. Make sure you're working very carefully so that everything doesn't fall apart.
Okay. And now we're done with our third ring. So you can see there's one ring right here, second one right here, and a third one right here. And we're gonna do that until we have six rings. And it's slowly gonna start folding like this. So we're gonna have a bulb-like shape at the end. But for our fourth layer, we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did. We're gonna take, we're gonna look at these two units. We're gonna to wanna to put them together. So we're gonna take this point and this point and put them into this unit. So one point from one unit, another point from another unit and put them together so they're next to each other like that. Turn, do the next two. And then the last one of this ring, these two points. There we go. Now we have four rings. It's kind of starting to look like a pine cone. And now we're going to do our fifth ring, the exact same thing. So we're going to look at our two units and we want to put them together. So take a point from one unit, a point from the other unit, put them in the pockets of a new unit, like so. We're gonna do that around this whole ring. Now you can see the, the whole piece starting to curve inward at the top. And our last piece of this ring, these two points. There we go. And now we have one ring left, so you should have 13 pieces left. And it's gonna be the exact same thing, just one more time. So we're gonna look at two units. We'll want them together, so one point from one unit another point from the other unit into the pockets of our other new unit. Like that. And keep doing the same thing. The next two points.
And then our last unit, these two points right here go into the pockets of our last unit. Yay! And now we're gonna sort of push down all our units so they're nice and snug. And you can see the top is going inward like this. And the bottom should look like this. So that's our completed shape. And now we can add little accessories to it to make a reindeer ornament. So we're gonna start off with the antlers. Grab a pipe cleaner and fold it into whatever antler shape you want. I think I'm gonna go like this maybe. Go like that and then grab your second pipe cleaner do the same thing it can be a totally different shape or the same shape whatever you want I think I'll make mine a little different there we go so now you're gonna grab your paper piece and find a unit, whichever unit that's on top. Um, and we're gonna sort of take our fingers and widen it like that. Widen it and stick your finger down so that there's a space right there. That's where our antler is gonna go. Um, before we put our antler in, grab your glue. Put your finger back to that unit and just put one drop like that. That should be enough. Grab your antler and you're gonna push it through the glue and into the middle of the unit. And then let go and we're gonna pinch the unit together so that the glue really sticks to the pipe cleaner. There, and then don't touch it, let it dry. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So sort of look from the top and see which one's across from the unit you just put that pipe cleaner in. I think mine's like right here. So this unit, I'm gonna put my finger right here in the middle Take my glue, put just, oh, just a drop. Grab my other antler. I'm gonna slide it through the glue and put it in between in the middle of the unit. Okay, and then pinch the two points together so that the glue really sticks and then let it dry. All right, so the antlers are done. And now we're gonna put the nose and googly eyes on. So let's start with the nose. We're gonna look from, the, look from this side and try to find the middle. So I think I'm gonna put my nose right here in the middle. So grab your glue, I'm just gonna put one drop and sort of spread it out a little. Spread out that one drop because the pom-pom is bigger than the drop. There we go. Like that. And grab your pom-pom and stick it on like so. Push it down. Okay, and then we're gonna lay it down like this so the nose is on top. And close your glue and let it dry. And don't touch it for, let's say like five minutes. So pause the video, um, let it dry for about five minutes and then unpause and we'll stick the eyes back on. 
Okay, so I've let this dry for about five minutes and the nose seems to be on pretty well. So I'm gonna open my glue back up and we're gonna put the eyes on now. Um, I think I want my eyes right here and right here. You can put them wherever you'd like, um, but I'm just gonna put them right here. So I'm gonna put a drop of glue right here just a small drop and a small drop right here on the other side. Okay. And then grab a googly eye. Gently press it down on the glue. And then grab my second eye. There we go. Just gently pat it down. Okay. And now let it sit again, lay it down like that, close your glue. In five more minutes, let it dry for five minutes and don't touch it. Um, pause the video, let it sit for five minutes, and then we'll put the ribbon on and be done. Okay, so it's been five minutes and my eyes are dry. Everything's in place, great. So now we're gonna let it sit like that. Now, there is a piece of gold ribbon. This is optional. If you want to just put your reindeer somewhere on a table, you don't have to put the gold ribbon on. If you wanna hang it somewhere, this can come in handy. So, I'll show you how to put the gold ribbon. So, right in front of your antler is where the gold ribbon is gonna go. So the antler is on this unit right here. I'm gonna look at the unit in front of it and go right in between. So I'm gonna take my glue. I'll put a drop right here in the middle, like that. So my antler is right here. I'm just gonna go one, one point forward. I'm gonna grab the end of my ribbon and slide it down like that. And I'm gonna slide it down until it stops. So it's gonna stop right about there. So let the glue sit like that. And you can either let this dry first or just do the other side too, but very carefully. So we're gonna do the same thing here. The antler is right here. I'm gonna go one point forward and put the glue right there. Just one drop. Okay, and then grab the other end of the ribbon. Make sure you don't yank too hard so this side doesn't come out. And I'm just gonna slide it down and let make sure it goes through the glue like that and push it down until it stops. There we go. Okay. And then once again, let's put it down like this and close your glue. Let it sit for about five minutes so that the ribbon is completely dry and pause the video and let it sit for five minutes and dry it out. Okay, so it's been five minutes. All the glue is dry and it hangs. And that's the completed 3D origami ornament. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.